Hi guys, Jordan with Motion and Ray, and today we're answering the question, what is Premiere Pro? And hey, if you're not familiar with us, we're all about helping you, the video creator, with templates, footage, tutorials, plugins, audio, and more. In fact, we have tons of free Premiere Pro templates ready to download. I put a link in the description down below, so make sure to hop over and grab some free stuff. For those of you who have seen any of our previous Premiere Pro tutorials, this might seem like a strange topic to cover, but we wanted to make sure that we had the absolute basics for those who are wondering what Premiere Pro actually is to begin with. So if that's you, hello. Adobe Premiere Pro is what's known as video editing software. Now, when you create a video file, either by filming on a camera or your phone, you're able to see that video file pretty quickly. But what happens when you want to string multiple video clips together side by side? And then what if you want to add things like titles? What if you wanted to change some of the coloring? What if you wanted to transition between your clips? Well, now you're entering into the realm of video editing. To actually edit a video, you need a piece of software that can take all the different pieces of media that you want and put them together in a particular order. Shorten and lengthen certain pieces, put music underneath, and so much more. This is the point of video editing software, to take different pieces of media and place them all together in a certain way that gives them more value than each individual piece on its own. As far as video editing software goes, Premiere Pro is pretty powerful. If you just want to string together a couple different clips in order, it can do that. But if you want to edit together a Hollywood level movie and release it in theaters, guess what? It can actually do that too. It has an insane number of different features that can be used to enhance your video. So let's get started covering the basics. We already mentioned that you can place down clips in a certain order, and the place that you would do this is called a timeline. On it, you can move clips around and stack them on top of each other in an infinite amount of different vertical layers. The reason that you would need multiple layers is if you wanted to view multiple things at the same time. Like if you wanted a piece of text on top of one of your pieces of video. If you couldn't work with multiple tracks, you would have to choose one or the other. Or if you wanted to have two pieces of video playing at the same time. Or if you wanted to have a piece of music play, for example, while also being able to add things like sound effects and ambience. That's the other thing, audio. It's a very important piece of the videos you create. Premiere Pro has tons of different tools for manipulating audio, including basic things like adjusting volume up or down, but also more in-depth tools like adjusting the actual characteristics of the sound. Maybe you have a clip that takes place underwater, and you want things like the music and sound effects to also sound like they have that characteristic of being underwater. You can add a simple audio effect and dial in the parameters to help make it sound like the audience is actually underwater with you. The thing we just added to our audio is called an effect, and Premiere Pro has an insane number of different effects for both video and audio to manipulate each in different ways. There's a whole range of different effects that you have available to you, all the way from basic things like simply blurring your footage, all the way up to more complex things like taking shaky video and stabilizing it so that it's a lot more smooth. And probably the most important thing that a piece of video software can actually do is take everything that you've done and combine it together into a finished video file. And this is what's known as exporting. But really, any video editing software can do that last one. What sets Premiere Pro apart is its ability to dynamically link with other Adobe products. If you have an illustration from Adobe Illustrator, audio from Adobe Audition, or a complex set of graphics from Adobe After Effects, you can take all of those project files and place them into Premiere Pro. Then when you go back and make changes in any of those different pieces of software, Premiere Pro will respect the changes and show you the result. Pretty cool, right? So in the end, who is Premiere Pro for? Really, it's for literally anybody who wants to edit together videos. Whether you're a Hollywood editor or somebody just starting out, anybody can take advantage of the features inside of Premiere Pro in order to make their creations come to life. Guys, I hope you liked the short introduction to what Premiere Pro actually is, and I hope you were able to find it at least somewhat helpful. If you did, as always, we have tons of other tutorials here at MotionArray.com. Feel free to check them out, like this one, our crash course to learning Premiere Pro. I'll link to it in the description below. But that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.